Salutations. I'm Gil. And I'm Gil, and this is Strategic Prepper. We often in the prepping community talk about what kind of gear we should have, but sometimes we need to slow down and talk about how to use that gear. So today I'm going to talk about the camp stove that we have, and this is the Camp Chef Mountain Series, a very simple uh, camp stove. So uh, I want to go over how to use that and I want to talk about some of the uh, safety factors with that. So first of all, we have to start with fuel. And you can see I've got a 30 caliber ammo can. This is where I store my fuel. They seem to fit in pretty nicely. And this stove uses a canister of butane fuel. So one thing with canisters of fuel like this, the canister is under pressure and the gas is highly flammable. So we need to be careful on how we store that. We need to store that away from heat, away from sparks, away from any sources of mechanical damage. That's why I put that in this ammo can. It keeps each of these canisters very secure. So with that having been said, let's get this uh, set up. I took the lid off of this. And if you're opening the stove for the first time, you want to be careful to make sure that the instructions are removed. In this particular model, the instructions were stored down underneath the drip pan. So instructions are removed. So this is the drip pan. And you can see that for space purposes, it's stored upside down. There's even instructions right here that tell you that you have to turn this up to the right side up. So this is the drip pan. I turn that right side up and I pop that. As you can see, it pops into place and that is secure. I also, because I don't like plastic around heat, I want to remove the bottom as well. All right, so we do, not, we, we do want to be careful with the butane because it is a flammable gas, um, very volatile. So this is the compartment for the fuel cell. We just pop that open and we remove the plastic cap, we can see the butane. So this goes in very nicely. There's a notch on the fuel cylinder and that notch lines up with this tab here. So we take this in here, If maybe if you come from this side. And we just, we just take this, take that, that, that knob and put that in here. Okay, now, this is a lock button. So I'm gonna push this down, but keep an eye on the uh, cylinder. Can you see the cylinder? All right. And now take a look. We're locked in place. That cylinder is secure. Okay, so we wanna make sure that cylinder is in, uh, make sure that it is secure, make sure that tab is lined up. If you don't line this tab up, the tab on the cylinder, if you don't line this tab with this latch, you will not get a good seal. All right, so we are set. Now let's take a look at the control. Now keep in mind, you are lighting flammable gas. You wanna watch out for children, make sure there's no other flammables around. Make sure there's no uh, uh, vapors like uh, gasoline vapors or anything like that. So we're gonna turn this to the ignite position and you're gonna hear a click. And then that click will take this electrode right here it will create a spark which will ignite the gas. You may have to do this a couple of times. So after you hear that one click, you may have to do that second or third time to allow the gas to get from the canister to the burners. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. I, I moved it all the way to high. Now I go to the click. And look, we've got fire. It's blue, so it's kind of hard to see, uh, but you can see some uh, orange on there. and. Voila, we are ready to cook. We can put our coffee pot, we can put our fry pan, um, we, can, we can cook breakfast, dinner, whatever. We are ready to cook. It's really that simple. Now, when we're done, we've cooked, we wanna go ahead and turn this off. Make sure it's all the way off because we do not want any leaking gas. You can see the flame is off. This was on fire, so keep in mind that it's still hot. So we don't want any children around here so if we're done with this, we really should remove the canister. So we start over here and, un and unlock that. Okay, and we come over here, remove the latch, 
lift from the back side and then pull out this way and it just pops right out put the lid back on for safety's sake and that's the cap is nice and secure and i return that to its storage and then all i have to do is close this up i wait for it to cool down once it cools down i'm going to turn this drip pan back upside uh, upside down so that it stores properly in the canister very simple very easy to use um, there are hazards naturally with any cooking device we just want to be alert to what those hazards are on how we store the fuel on where the children are any type of ignition sources but uh, generally it's real simple and uh, a very safe piece of equipment there's many like it this is not the only model out there but there's many very simple very safe camping stoves that make a great part for your prepping kits for shtf for hurricane preparedness for um texas freeze and for texas freeze and you have no uh and you have no power this is a great backup stove so leave your questions leave your comments down below if you uh enjoyed this give me a thumbs up that really does help the algorithms with uh, youtube and if you could uh, subscribe and forward this to a friend. Thank you and stay safe and stay prepared.